Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial on tips and tricks and uh, chroma keying using uh, Pinnacle Studio Plus uh, 16. Have you ever wondered how Superman is seen flying in the air um, and those sort of special effects? Well this is uh, chroma keying and um, I'm going to briefly go over uh, chroma keying um, this was a, a quick on the spot uh, edit, it was the first time doing it, um, but it does the job, it's not perfect, but it does the job. So I just want to go over where they use it. Um, it is a special effect and for composing uh, two images of video streams together based on color or use and in general they use blue screen and green screen um, backgrounds because of the difference uh, these colors have from the color of the of, of the body skin. Um, it's used in newscasting, motion picture, video games. Um, in this case, I used two people in a pool, which they just painted as the area to make transparent. Choosing to make the two people transparent against the pool background. Uh, this could be done with backgrounds of any color um, that are uniform and distinct. But like I said, green and blue are the most common used. I then took the video I recorded um, previously at a different time from a plane and the sky and layered this behind creating the illusion that they are flying in the air. So you can see here, here's a picture of the pool. Um, this is a video uh, screenshot and they had just painted this blue pool. Now the problems are though is that you can't be wearing anything that is um, blue in this case because it will also take out that color and it may show as an empty uh, or blank spot on your uh, video. Um, also you want to avoid having any reflections and um, you need good light. Um, and in this case I did not have great light. So what I did is I had them go to the bottom of the pool which is uh, about 10 feet or 12 feet deep at its deepest and act as if they were swimming um, and you can see what in the final end what it gave you okay so I'm actually going to take you to the uh, studio uh, software um, and show you how to uh, do the chroma keying you can see there's AV track 1, AV track 2, AV track 3 it's important to put the uh, different videos in the correct track. Um, so the original uh, video I did record of them in the pool uh, that I want to use is going, I'm going to drag that onto track one. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, a short section of video. And I'm going to take part of the video that has less areas that I need to work with. Meaning you can see there's some other items uh, found in there. So I want to get as much of that out as possible. And I can change you know, a couple things here. So I actually like this one because it has less junk around the sides and back. All right, But again, we're going to have some problems here, as you can see, because the lighting, um, it changes from one hue of blue to another. All right, so we're going to take a short section, and again, it's not going to be perfect, um, but just to give you the idea, so we'll take a short clip here of about 11 seconds, all right, and I'll cut that, and I'll delete the end of it, and now we have the original uh, video of them in the pool that they had just painted. For the background, which I want to lay this over, um, right now I'm going to use some video I recorded uh, while flying in a plane, okay? Uh, and I want to give the illusion as if they're f flying, um, kind of like Superman, okay? So, but you want to pick the, the, you know, the right video that, um, you know, would fit best in this area. So right now I don't want I want to be able to just view this this video and not the one of them in the pool. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click turn on off video monitoring, okay? And now it's going to show me the track below. And I'll find a section that I want to use. So this section looks okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this here. I'm going to hit delete. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this over all the way. All right. And we're going to make sure that there's no parts of the plane showing and just I have the, the background of flying in there. And I'm going to delete, hit cut there, and I'm going to delete this end. So now I have the background I want to use, which is the Navy Track 2, and the section I want to make transparent, um, which you can see here. And you could adjust what you're seeing by using you know, a little eyeball here and speaker if you want sound. If you want to hear sound when you're uh, editing the video here or you want to hear sound here. And there's multiple different layers you can, you can use. So the first step is the chroma keying. Okay, so I want to get rid of all this blue background. How am I going to do that? Well, Studio is a very uh, complete you know, product from Pinnacle and it gives you quite a few plugins that are easy to use and manipulate so you, know, you could right click um, open effects editor you could also um, click on the navigation here on the left and you can go to effects transitions and you can see there's quite a few effects um, and transitions and sound stages alright but the quickest way to do it is we're gonna double click on here all right. You'll see at the top here you can do transitions, corrections, uh, effects, transition out, 2D effects, um, camera effects. Okay, and you could hover over it, and in many cases it'll show you what's actually happening. All right. So in this case, we want to use keyers. Now, if you do want to you know, correct the baseline video. Um, you can do that, um, but we're not going to mess with that right now. So, another issue I want to point out is you can notice the color of her pants resemble a little bit the color of the background. This is not good, as when we are trying to get rid of this blue background. Uh, through blue screen, it will pick up some of the color in the pants and will delete it. So it may show her body as a couple separate pieces. So let's go to Keyers and let's choose Studio Chroma Keyer. All right, and you can see over here on the right, uh, there's presets. You could do no preset, default, or blue screen key. We'll tri you know, we'll just pick that. And then you can go to settings and you can manipulate it even more. So again, I told you the issue would be the lighting and the shading and so on and so forth. So how do we manipulate that? Um, we can look at the softness. Increasing it won't help. But how about decreasing it? So you'll start to see it fade. Okay. But again, what's also fading is, and it's affecting, is some of the, the pants here. Alright, but in an effort to show you how the chroma keying works and the effects, we're going to do it this way. And transparency. So it gets rid of even more, but again, it's affecting some other areas here. You could also change the key color. Okay. And we'll see if this works, okay? So let's hit OK. And you can see now we have a black background with the two um, who were swimming in an empty pool that was just painted. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to recheck, hit this so I can show the background video in track two. And now what do you see? Okay, 
So you can get the point as to uh, what we're trying to do here. We'll see if we can manipulate um, the colors a little bit because I don't like the fact that there's a little transparency in the pants. Um, so we may have to uh, change the color tolerance a little bit. And the softness. Spill suppression. And let's see what happens there. So some of the pants come back, but you know, you get the idea of how it works, and you can see what the purpose of it is. Okay, and let's just enlarge this. So the best to use is a solid background and have good lighting. You know, they make extensive kits, blue screen, green screen. Um, you want no shade and no, uh, you know, areas of, of highlights, etc. So the type of material you use is important. You can go to a fabric center um, and get um, fabric there, but it has to be very specific. And the lighting is quite important. You could also purchase uh, actually um, different uniforms which allow you to do uh, chroma keying. Okay. And again, what we started with was a pool that was being painted that's the video we were using and we layered the videos on top of each other to give the effect that they are swimming or flying uh, in the sky okay so that concludes my tutorial on chroma keying in Pinnacle Studio Ultimate 16 thank you